how are you once again i am welcoming to all of you to this video lecture uh, this is dr arthamund jena senior assistant professor pg department of business management fakirmohan university balasur odisha so today's it's a very very interesting uh, the topic which we will go for the discussion and this video lecture of this discussion will be helpful to mainly to the students category uh, of our 12th standard uh, that is uh, ba become students as well as for the teachers also this video lecture will be helpful okay but without delay we will start our discussion so today's topic is what is the difference between the partnership firm and the sole proprietorship business and i have written there are the 12 basis for comparison by taking into consideration the 12 basis then easily we can compare the partnership firm with the sole proprietorship first what is that is the meaning of the definitions <coughs> by taking into the meaning of the definition the partnership firm it's the relationship between b w b slash w it stands for what is the between the persons person means they are the partners of the partnership firm who have agreed to share the profits definitely the partnership firm will earn some profits and the profits will be shared or will be distributed among the partners of a business which is carried out by all the partners or the any of them acting for all i mean so let's take an example there are 10 partners they the, all 10 partners they may not uh manage the business whereas or they may not take part into the business out of let's take an example it is five partner or five member so they will carry out or they will manage the businesses of the partnership firm uh uh or any of them acting for all so the five members or five partners so they will act for the all the partners so this definition has been given by the section 4 of indian partnership act 1932 it's very very interesting for the general knowledge purposes the partnership act is that is 1932 come to the right hand side that is the sole proprietorship in the case of sole proprietorship it's a form of business organization it's a form of business organization which is owned i mean the single sole means one person will own all the uh, activities i mean the sole proprietorship that fellow will control all the activities of the sole proprietorship business and that also that fellow i mean the person or sole trader will manage all the activities of the sole proprietorship simultaneously that fellow or who takes all the profits definitely similarly the sole proprietorship business will earn the profit and that profit okay will be taken by 100% profit will be taken by that fellow and similarly if the risk is there the risk will be okay 100% risk who will take the sole proprietor come to the second one which is it's the membership to start the partnership firm minimum member is two where in the case of uh, banking and business banking and insurance business so there are maximum 10 persons or 10 partners and in the case of general business so there are maximum 20 persons so Uh, dear friends in partnership firm to start the partnership firm minimum member uh, is required two persons whereas in the case of a sole proprietorship only one person okay it's in only one person next one is the agreement so agreement is very very important suppose tomorrow so there will be some problem or so tomorrow there will be uh, any problem among the partners so as for the agreement then the problem will be sorted out in partnership firm the partnership deed is required or the partnership firm is must what is the meaning of partnership deed or deed means that is the agreement if any problem any disputes will arise tomorrow in future as per the partnership deed or the partnership agreement the disputes problem will be sorted out or will be solved so partnership deed is must to form a partnership tf means that is the partnership firm the agreement among the partners may be expressed or it may be implied okay the partnership deed or the partnership agreement it may be the implied or it may sorry it may be the oral or it may be the written where in the case of sole proprietorship business there is no need of agreement because only one person then the registration so registration of the partnership firm will be done as per the partnership act 1932 
but the registration of the partnership ha is not the compulsory it is the optional and other aspects so uh, that is the features of the partnership ha advantages and the disadvantages and that is the partnership deed or partnership agreement in another video we will discuss in detail okay dear friends for your kind information i have already posted on the uh, a video lecture on the sole proprietorship kindly you watch this video sole proprietorship okay but uh, in the case of a registration so far as the registration there is no need of a registration of sole proprietorship business yes next one is act act so in partnership firm one act is there so partnership act is that is 1932 whereas in sole proprietorship so there is no special act like the partnership firm then the management practices management processes in the case of partnership firm all the partners all the partners in the case of general say 20 or in the case of banking business 10 so all partners they have the they have the rights to take part the entire activities of the partnership whereas in the case of a sole proprietorship in sole proprietorship only one person will control all the activities simultaneously will manage all the activities of the sole proprietorship then that is the profit sharing yes so as we know the primary objective of the business to earn the profit and the profit maximization or profit earn, earning is that is the okay one of the chief aim or the main of the business if the profit is there okay the profits of the partnership firm will be shared among the partners as for their profiting profit sharing ratio or as for their agreement whereas in the sole proprietorship so there is no question of sharing the profit one person sole means that is the one or it means the single whatever the profit will be available out of the sole proprietorship that fellow or one person will take hundred percent profit yes dear friends come to the next one is say risk sharing yes if profit is there so that will be shared if the risk i mean risk or the loss if the loss will be there in the case of partnership firm all partners of the partnership firm will be share or will be a, the business risk whereas in the case of sole proprietorship or sole trading business one person will be a, the hundred percent risk or the hundred percent loss yes next one is so far as that is the resources financial resource is concern the capital investment in capital investment or the cap employment of capital in the partnership firm is more as compared to the sole proprietorship business because so there are more members so that's why so there will be more investment of capital or more employment of capital in the case of a sole trading business or sole proprietorship so there will be the less capital employed because one person one person may not contribute the maximum capital. Next one is the scope of the business. As we know, that is the nature of the law, that is the growth and development everywhere. Whether it may be the artificial person or it may be the natural person. And so far as that is the business is concerned, business are the artificial person. In the soul, uh, sorry, in the case of partnership firm, the scope of the partnership firm or the scope of the partnership firm, we see that is the more as compared to the sole proprietorship. So, uh, uh, more scope of we see growth and development of the partnership firm as compared to the sole proprietorship. And in the sole proprietorship, we will find or the scope of the sole proprietorship business is limited for its growth and development next one is that is the retention of secrecy secrecy means it's also very very important nowadays secrecy so secrecy maintenance of secrecy okay uh, is very very vital so far is the growth and development is or our concern in partnership firm the 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 in partnership firm the business secrecy may not be written because so there are more than two persons so that's why one person may disclose the business information in outside so disclosing the information will influence or will affect the growth and the development of a 
the partnership has whereas in the sole proprietorship the business secrecy okay may be retained because one person is there so uh, last but not the least the basis of comparison gives the own certainty of the business b u s it stands for business the life of the partnership hub is more shorter as compared to the sole proprietor so let's take an example if there are eight partners how many there are i out there are eight partners in partnership hub if one or two partners will die or only retire from the partnership hub and the remaining i mean the rest okay Uh, I am mean six partner. They may continue the partnership, but in the case of uh, so such types of situation, we may not get any sole proprietorship. If sole proprietors means one person, one person that fellow, if that fellow will be no more, or that fellow will die, so that is the future or continuity or the certainty of the sole proprietors will be the hundreds. हाँ और इट्स दिस विल बी द क्वेश्चन मार्क है इन द केस ऑफ डेथ और हेल्थ रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम हिज फैमिली मेंबर मे नॉट कंटिन्यू द सोल प्रोपाइटरशिप सो दिज आर ऑल अबाउट टू डेज डिस्कशन सो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम होपफुल सो यू विल एंजॉय एंड यू विल लर्न काइंडली आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू विल सी हाँ द फुल वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो काइंडली यू सब्सक्राइब इट काइंडली यू फॉरवर्ड इट Uh, kindly also i am also welcoming to your uh, comments as for your comments i will prepare the next video so once again thanks a lot to all of you